Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy. And today I just wanted to talk quickly about uh, Aki, Aki Flow. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it okay, but uh, I wanna talk about the tool and focus on that. Uh, this is not an in-depth uh, review. I've been using it for about a week. Um, so this is more of an initial overview and uh, a couple of pros and cons uh, that I've found with it. Uh, so if you're looking for like an in-depth tutorial, things like that, um, I suggest you check out, uh, let me grab the name. I believe it's Keep Productive. Uh, Francesco uh, has got some great training available on that, but I certainly wanted to uh, share my two cents. I think I've got some things here that uh, are worth considering. So uh, let's talk about it. I think that uh, without diving into the, the program itself, I think this layout shows enough of what it is um, to really give you an idea of what's going on here. Um, you can see all the integrations they have. There's a ton, it's super easy to connect, but why would you want to have this, right? Like what's the main idea behind this? is that you could maybe have one area as like your repository of truth or uh, tasks, if you will, right? Because you could have emails come into this, you could have Slack, uh, Slack messages come in, you could have uh, ClickUp, you could have uh, to-do to, uh, tasks, things like that. You can integrate all of this in here so you have one place where you can monitor and, and take care of it all. And this is, it can be, if you want it to be, a two-way sync. All right, this is really important. And then of course it fits in with your calendar. So maybe you have something you can click and drag it over into your calendar, see how you want this to work. So really, really nice to have that. The one thing for me that's really important, I use ClickUp for project management. Uh, and one thing they're looking at doing is changing how it works because right now when I cl uh, connected ClickUp, it brings them in and it may have a due date, let's say for two weeks from now. And I understand why they did this. Uh, I've been going back and forth with them about you know, how they have it set up. Maybe we can change it, but they have it set up so that it goes into your inbox and you need to assign it a due date here uh, that uh, in AccuFlow so that it, um, losing my train of thought here, so that uh, you have it assigned here and it tracks that due date, all right? It's not uh, automatically assigned the due date uh, that you assign it in ClickUp. So I understand why they do that, because let's say it has a due date for a task and click up uh, in three days from now, but you know you want to work on it in a day from now. This allows you that flexibility. However, for me, and I think a lot of other people, we set things up and click up the way we want to be reminded um, of them or the due dates we need. And when we import it, we don't want to have that uh, task again. It feels like doubling the work, right? We already assigned a due date. Now we've got to deal with it here. Um, so it feels a little bit like an extra step, but I understand both use cases and people may want uh, either one. So they're thinking about doing a kind of a toggle where maybe you could have it automatically assign the due date that it has or not. So something to be aware of. And I can't speak to every single integration. Um, uh, just the ones that I've used are Slack, uh, Gmail, Calendar, and ClickUp. Uh, something else that I find uh, really nice is... Um, when you star an email in your Gmail account, it will import that if you want it to. That's a setting. I've been using Zapier to do this for a while. I'll include the uh, links down below, um, but I've set those up so that I can do that, um, as well as Slack messages. If you bookmark them, it'll pull them in here. That is really nice. Again, this is something I've had to use Zapier for in the past, um, and that is really handy, right? Because if you're reading an email or you want to quickly triage your email, you can star it, move on, star it, move on, start, move on. For me, that stuff goes into ClickUp. Um, and then I was trying this to see if, oh, maybe I could just have it come into here and not have it turn into a task in ClickUp, still working through that. Um, there's a lot more to it. Definitely read through it. There's a lot of really cool features. Um, I just recommend checking this out if you're looking for something that can really pull everything together instead of having to have a bunch of different um, places that you check, that this might be something that you want to spend some time kind of checking out, connecting, seeing how it works. For me right now, I'm still just uh, waiting to see how they implement a few of these things. Right now, I kind of pull things into Roam and Focuster. Um, and the thing that I like about Focuster is it has a true two-way sync uh, with the calendar. So I don't have to click and drag stuff when I put it in Focuster and I give it a time, it automatically goes into my calendar. Um, so that to me is, is really handy. But again, I'm really impressed with this tool overall. I'm just not sure if it's the perfect fit for me, but highly recommend that uh, you check it out.